Next guest is an actress, producer, director, and philanthropist, and she's here today to dish all about her new Amazon series. Please welcome my girl, Megan Good. <laughs> Telling you just how stunning you are. Like every time we hang out, I'm just like, how? No, I like mean... you're just <laughs> radiant. And last year you turned 40. I turned 40. I don't looking it. better than ever. This is why I'm trying to look like y'all. <laughs> look at that amazing picture. Oh, what does oh this God, next I act mean... look and feel like for you? Man, it's been amazing. Like so many transitions. Mm -hmm. Projects that I prayed for, um, just health transitions, just taking a moment to like really take everything in and get myself, my spirit, my soul ready for 40. And it's been a whirlwind with, with the show and like the movies. It's just, it's crazy. It's a blessing. Yes. Yeah. So exciting. It's so exciting to have you here. Um, I want to ask you, now with the pandemic, we've talked about how important it is for mental health. Yes. How have you gone through everything? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the biggest things, too, was leading up to 40 and coming out of the pandemic. It was like, okay, I'm going to take a beat for myself. I stopped drinking back in April. So really? I didn't drink for April, May, June, July, wow. August. Ooh, and girl. Some, yeah, end of August, I think it was, yeah. Yes. I was like, let me just take a beat because... Good. I wanted to just really focus on therapy and dive into some things that, um, that I experienced in the past that I haven't spoken about publicly yet. And one day I will whenever I feel God's called me to it. But I was like, okay, I really need to deal with these things and just sit down and like dig in and be really intentional about this next season and this next act of my life. So. Well, what about your faith? How are you using that to navigate your career? That's everything. Mm -hmm. That's everything. Faith has to come first. Um, for me, it's literally like the base that I build everything on. Every decision comes from that place. And um, it's also just, if you know that God has called you to be in a certain place, mm. no matter what happens, no matter who doesn't believe in you, no matter uh, people who don't think you're capable or good enough, you know that God's called you to that place, so you know you're going to win no matter what. And that's right. for me, that's what sustains me. That's a, and that's probably what helped you get through the drinking, not drinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need that. I need that. You need that. Like, you need that. You need that. You need that. I was like, you stopped drinking how many months? I'm like, I need yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I needed that. I was like, let me just. <laughs> Yeah, Love and you're it. obviously a part of so many different projects. So even going mm -hmm. through that and also working your yes. butt off, you're not only starring in projects, but you're also executive producing a new series titled A La Carte for yeah. All Black. Ooh. And um, what do you love most about being behind the camera? I love seeing you direct. Thank you. You're an incredible mm -hmm. director. <laughs> what is it that you love so much about that? I love, you know, it's not always about wearing the crown. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's about wearing it. And for Ooh. me, I love ser serving the project. I love serving the actors. I love being able to speak an actor's language. Um, I love making it easier for the little brown girl behind me so she doesn't have to work as hard yes. as I did and, and have those opportunities to say, no, I'm capable of this, 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 that. I may be this, that's true, but I'm also this, and I'm also that, and give me a chance at that. Yeah. So I love creating opportunities, and I love seeing all of us win. So. Yes. It's yeah. so exciting. And we love seeing you. Yes, we yeah, do. Absolutely. In front of and behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, Megan, when you're not working, you're also giving back. And you're doing something with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's um, Laugh Out Loud. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lonnie also is in there. We she just tell them about it. Just yeah. collaboration. <laughs> Please tell it's us about the project. Um, so uh, LOL called and they were like, listen, we're doing this um, thing with all like black women writers all around the world and giving them an opportunity to get their work out there. We're gonna narrow down the selection. There's gonna be three of them. Um, myself, Brisha Webb, and Gabrielle Dennis directed these yeah. three particular <laughs> shorts. That is so cool. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. I chose one called Black Karen. And oh. um, Brisha Webb was actually the star of mine as well. <laughs> and um, Cedric the Entertainer came in and blessed us with his presence. Nice. My friend Catherine Lanasa. And I'm really proud of it. So I'm, I'm excited to premiere it at Sundance. Excited um, just for just to support like the next generation of writers and them having an opportunity again to not work as hard and, right. and have kind of like an in 
Because we need that. We need more representation, not Absolutely. just us in front of the camera. Right. But we need the writers. We need the studio executive. We need the producers, yes. directors, all of it. All of it. All of it. And yes. I think we need all to that. talk about how great it is that Kevin Hart used his connections. Because I was never going to get to Sundance to star in a film. <laughs> now I can say, I'm going to be in a short. And it was directed. <laughs> and I'm going to be with you guys. So yeah. I think that's just great. So, so I have yeah. to give a shout out to Kevin for doing that. Yeah, Kevin is But dope. you also have something that's very exciting. The Amazon series Harlem yeah. with the legendary yes. Whoop. Be Goldberg, yeah. girl. Tell us about it. This Can I huge. tell you uh, everything about this show? Everything was like divine because I went in, I met on it, I didn't hear anything, and then I heard they were auditioning, and I was like, "Can I please audition?" And then, you know, I think initially they weren't sure if I was the person, mm -hmm. and so it's nice to even 30 years into the industry to be able to like show someone like, no, I can well, do can something. Do it. You've yeah. been in the industry yeah. 30 years? 30, 30 years. Yeah. Dang. So it's nice to be able I've to do it. I've been in the 60 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you want to do it? Like, Ew. Megan? Look like you're 20. 20 years. That, you know what's really that. cool though? A lot of people wouldn't want to read and say, I right. should be offered the job. Yeah. But the right. fact that you're open to yeah. even showcasing what you can do in a room is amazing. I think that's it's important. Yeah, I do too. To show that you've evolved. Yeah. yeah. You forget she was at Eve's body. You, you don't remember that? <laughs> I'm right. dead. That's what I'm like. I tried to. <laughs> that Ooh, was a long time ago. Yes. Okay, go ahead. But we aging well. We aging <laughs> well. Oh, oh, I'm not curious. Why was it important to you to be able to audition and still prove that you yeah. can yeah. Um, do new things? Because I, I, I love that. I love to be able to still surprise people. Mm -hmm. And for me, this character, she's so quirky, she's so offbeat, she's so much closer to who I am. I mean, y'all know, yes. I am a dork. So yeah. <laughs> to be able to play a character that I get to do like some physical Lucille Ball comedy and to That's be able funny. to work with Grace Byers, who's like my sister, yep. and, and meet Shaniqua and Jerry, who have become my sisters, and oh. work with Tracy Oliver. And just like an incredible group of people, it just is a dream come true. It's because, refreshing. Yeah, and, when, and you know how it is. When you're, when you're doing TV, it's it's every single day of your life. Right. So you want your quality of life to be incredible. And you want to be excited about the people you get to share space with and the characters you get to play or the things you get to do. And yeah. this is like everything, everything that I would want. So. I love it. And we've got a clip from Ooh. Harlem. Let's it's take a so look. It's so good. Take a look. Oh my God. Dr. Pruitt from Yale? You're the new department head. I, I'm such a fan of your work. I've read all three of your books at least a dozen times. I quoted your research heavily in my dissertation. Wow. Um, I'm one of the adjunct professors, Camille Parks. I'm teaching anthropology of sex and love this semester. Can I call you back? That, that's fine, Dr. Pruitt. I'll talk to you later. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry, I just kind of bust in here. I was excited. <laughs> yes, you did, Camille Parks. I've heard a lot about you. It's nice to put a face to the reputation. Like this, it just gives me. Sense. I know. It's just she's just so like here. <laughs> so oh my god. Love love her. Her. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Yes. Uh, Harlem is streaming now on Amazon. Be sure to check it out.